Hello guys, welcome to Learning with Prep Class. I am a tutor, Adindu. In this video, I'll be solving questions 47 to 50 from the 24th edition of the Ugo Sugo Quantitative Questions. After this video, you would have gained understanding on how to carefully select the correct answers when solving questions in quantitative. It's usually fun having you guys around, and I know this video will be a worthwhile session. Do not forget to like and subscribe on our YouTube channel. You can go the extra mile of leaving a comment so we can communicate for effective learning. Without further ado, let's zoom in. Now, with these samples, with these samples, will be it will be serving as a guide to solve questions 47 to 48. So we need to build an understanding on how to resolve these answers. So first, we're going to use the trial and error method to test them. If it comes out correct, then it will be our guide for solving questions 47 to 48. So I can say 2 times 2, that's 4, plus 1, that's 5. So if I've been asked to find this, 2 times 2 plus 1 will give me 5. But if I've been asked to find this, then it's going to be 5 minus 1, then the square root of my answer will give me 2. So 5 minus 1 is 4. Square root of 4 is 2. So we can either do it this way or we do it in the reverse. All right, let's look at the next one. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 2 is 11. Or 11 minus 2 is 9. Square root of 9 is 3. Okay, let's try out this one again. 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 will give us 1 over 4. 1 over 4 plus 3 over 4 will give us 1. Or we can say 1 minus 3 over 4 will give us 1 over 4. Then square root of 1 over 4 will give us 1 over 2. So we've seen how to come about these answers using the first process and the reverse. So with this, it will serve as a guide in solving questions 47 to 48. All right, let's proceed. Question 47, we've been asked to find this. So let's see how to get it done. So definitely, we know it is 9 minus 5 will give us the answer 4. Then the square root of 4 will give us 2. So our answer here would be 2. Then if you have to try it out, if it's correct, we're going to say 2 times 2 plus 5. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. So definitely, 2 is our answer. Let's check it out. Question 47, 2 is our correct answer. Let's look at the next question. Wow, question 48. If you look closely at question 48, it's similar to that of question 47, but it has different answers. So definitely, we won't be solving question 48. We'll move on to the next question. This is a sample to solve questions 49 to 50. So just the way we did in the previous one, we are going to be analyzing these samples and coming to an understanding of how to resolve these numbers. So with that, it will serve as a guide in solving questions 49 to 50. So definitely, we're going to use the trial and error method. If it comes out true, then we will be good to go. So I would say 5 plus 3 is 8. That's true. 4 plus 5 is 9. So if 5 is missing, I will say 9 minus 4 will give me 5. If 4 is missing, I'll say 9 minus 5 will give me 4. So if 3 is missing, 8 minus 5 will give me 3. And if 5 is missing, 8 minus 3 will give me 5. That's correct. Let's try out the next one. For the next one, i also use the same method I used here. 3 plus 2 is 5. 1 plus 3 is 4. So if 1 is missing, 4 minus 3 will get this one. If 3 is missing, 
4 minus 1 will get 3. If 2 is missing, 5 minus 3 will get 2. And if 3 is missing, 5 minus 2 will get 3. So with this understanding, we'll be solving questions 49 to 50. Let's proceed. Question 49. Now, this is missing, so it's a very direct question. Let's see how to get it done. So since this is missing, it's going to be 21 plus 4 equal to 25. And that's this. So we only just wrote this to try it if it is true. 4 plus 5 is 9. So 21 plus 4 will give us this aspect. And 21 plus 4 is equal to 25. Let's check it out. 25 is our correct answer. All right, let's look at the next question. Question 50. So this part is missing. So let's see how to get it done. So remember we said this plus this will give us this answer. So and if we add it together, 57 plus 9 will give us 66. 9 plus 7 is 16, write 6, carry 1. 1 plus 5 is 6, and that is 66. So 66 is our correct answer. Let's check it out. Question 50, option D, 66 is our correct answer. Alright, this is how much we can take in this video. I hope you had fun. I'm also using this timeout to ask us to join our WhatsApp group using the link below. So we can get updates on more videos to come and we can ask questions and comment on the previous videos we've seen. It was fun having you guys around. Till I come your way again. Bye-bye.